OnePlus 6, the new flagship killer, is now a reality. Last year, the OnePlus 5T set the bar really high, and its successor, the OnePlus 6, also has quite a lot to look forward to. The new flagship killer brings a few incremental and a few drastic changes to the table, and for better or for worse, it also leaves quite a lot unchanged. But one thing that OnePlus revealed early on is the presence of a display notch. Why does OnePlus have a notch? Well, a simple explanation is that higher market forces at play make notch a compulsion. And if, in case you don't like the notch, a simple solution to restore the natural order of the universe is to turn the notch off, or in other words, to hide it. Yes, software has the option to hide the notch on OnePlus 6, but how well does that work? Well, let's discuss in this video. The notch when it's on assumes the color matching the top section of the app currently running on the screen. So when you choose to turn the notch off or to hide it, the top strip is always black and thus the notch is almost invisible. Since OnePlus 6 is using an AMOLED screen, the notch completely blends into the black strip. Even when you don't hide the notch, it doesn't get in the way of gaming and video apps. OnePlus says that it has optimized the notch for top 1000 apps in the Play Stores. However, we did notice several popular apps like Google Chrome and MX Player where the notch strip remains hidden by default. Let's make one thing clear though, hiding the notch won't give you more space to fit in status bar icons or anything that's on the status bar. That side of the notch is where you'll find the system icons, you know like battery, Wi-Fi, SIM card signal, Bluetooth, etc. The software smartly prioritizes what icons you see. For example, if you mute the phone, the silent icon will replace the Volte label. Uh, because the software assumes that is what you want to see on priority basis. OnePlus has prudently used this limited space, except for one glaring omission. You simply cannot add battery percentage to the status bar. You can still see the battery percentage by swiping down the uh, notification shade or even on the ambient display, but you can't add it to the status bar. Moreover, since Oxygen OS removed system UI tuner with Android Oreo update, you can't indirectly add battery percentage in the status bar either. On the right side of the notch, you'll find icons of apps that are pushing notifications. There's enough space to fit three or four of these. Honestly, we have vacillated to and fro for a while deciding whether notch is a thing or not. And I guess we finally have a notch stance. It's not that big a deal, but we ended up hiding the notch anyways. Once you have turned it off, you'll find symmetrical bezels on top and bottom and the phone feels more natural that way. It must be mentioned that the notch implementation is much better than what we've seen on phones from OnePlus's sister companies Oppo and Vivo. At least OnePlus is our separate spaces for both system and app icons and that makes life simpler. Thanks for watching guys, that was our take on the OnePlus 6 notch. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like these and once again thanks for watching.